Hey everybody, I'm Michelle with Birdie Bloom and today I'm going to talk a little bit about some Berkeley bags. And the reason I'm doing this video next is because I just sold a Berkeley that I, um, I find it kind of rare. It's a Berkeley Chunky and I just wanted to have her in the video. Um, I need to ship her out today, so it's like I need to get this video done. Um, so, uh, and I wanted her to be here. So here she is, isn't she pretty? Okay, but what is a Berkeley? So the Berkeley line is basically reversed leather. And so they wear this raw suede leather on the outside, okay? And the bag I'm showing you here is called a Berkeley Drawstring. And it is the exact same bag as a Lula's Legacy um, drawstring bucket bag. If you don't know this already, bucket bags are some of my favorite bags. Um, I have quite a few bucket bags. And I just love how they look. I love how you just open it up and throw things in. I like using a lot of accessories such as chunky cases um, and other, you know, cute little wallets. but. I like to use that stuff and I throw things in, but I can carry diapers and wipes. And so I love a bucket bag. So the Berkeley drawstring bag, they have a, um, their style number is 9012. Okay. And then the, just in case you're like, oh, I like the style bag. I didn't know about the Lula's Legacy, um, but I don't like the reverse suede. The Lula's Legacy is style number 9952. I do have some of those bags. I haven't rehabbed them yet, so I'm not showing them here. Um, probably should have. They're, I have one that's still in really great condition, but either way, exact same style bag. Here, I'll put a catalog photo of the Berkeley and the um, Lula's Legacy drawstring. So the strap is um, adjustable and it is 55 inches long and the bag itself is nine and a half by 11 by five and a half. Okay, and here is, let me put this down a little bit. Here it is on. So just a really, I love the way uh, bucket bags kind of fall low on the body. I love the way they tend to hug the body. I just love a bucket bag. And, well, do a crossbody you can do a crossbody it might not be as comfortable for some people i have i have one little notch i could go to make it slightly longer but i'd honestly probably personally wear it like this if i was crossbodying it okay so all right so let's look at the inside of this bag and it's basically just a really big open cavity and because the raw leather is on the outside uh, this is kind of pebbly. Uh, this leather is on the inside. The pebbly leather is on the inside. The bottom of the bag, though, is a pebble leather, leather and it has a lip. Um, so the bottom lining of this bag, it's probably really hard to see, is raw, raw leather. But it has this little a pocket, one little pocket. And... That's where you find the Creed. This particular bag was made in 1996 in the USA. Again, style number 9012. And I did, um, this isn't one that I would personally be able to authenticate myself because it's gonna all be based on font. And I did check and make sure that it was authentic and it is. So, yep. That's that. And then it just cinches closed chunky case I'm just going to show you the inside of this so I had done a poll to determine if I should um, shine up the the hardware on this one what's funny is normally I shine up hardware but there's a couple of bags that I think the vintage antique um, brass looks better on one of those is one of my favorite bags which is that I call it a double turn lock waste pack that's not the technical technical name it's that waste pack number 507 and I think 516 I've done a video on them um, I love those bags so much and I prefer the hardware not to be shiny on them but these um, the Berkeley bags I thought the same thing and I uh, discovered from this posting that actually the Berkeley bags come with antique 
brass hardware. It's not the same brass hardware that's on other bags. It's actually antique. So you, you couldn't shine it up if you wanted to. Um, I mean, you can clean it, but isn't that interesting? And I didn't realize that. So what I thought looked better on a bag ended up being, there's a whole reason for it. Coach thought it looked better too. And they actually made the hardware to look antique. So that's what you should expect on a Berkeley bag. That's the Berkeley line for you. They have all sorts of different bags that you can get um, with reverse suede. This is not the only one. It's just, the, these are the only two that I have currently in my possession. So I've already um, let go of one of these. It was a mahogany one. This particular bag, the Berkeley drawstring, again, number style, number 9012, also comes in red and it comes in what's russet, which is kind of like a British tan color, but they call it russet, which is super cute because it kind of does look like a little potato um, with the little roughness on the outside. I think it's funny. So this one's black. Oh, wanted to talk a little bit. I know I haven't done a video on um, the uh, charms, bag charms yet. I'm going to, but I thought, well, maybe I can talk a little bit about this. These are some of the star charms. <sighs> and perhaps I should have mentioned this earlier because um, here's another color. This was the color that actually you could get on Coach Outlet not that long ago. Um, this one I got on the resale market. Um, and it's the only one I've seen. There's a, another white charm that's uh, a bunch of white leather. I haven't found that yet, but uh, I'm, I'm looking for it. Again, you can get it on the resale market. So a lot of charms I buy, I do buy on the resale market, but um, I always recommend that you check at Coach Outlet. They sell really good quality charms and um, you can a lot of times find them at a discounted price. So again, I looked, this is the one that they were most recently selling. You can get this on the resale market, but it's no longer on Coach Outlet market. I will go ahead and tell you, I saw this one still on Coach Outlet. It didn't have really good reviews. And I don't know why, well, I do know why. So on the, the page, it looks like the cherries are red, but really they're very pinkish. There's red glitter, but the um, plastic is a little, clear and everything kind of comes off pink but they're a really great size let me put them on here i think they're still adorable so i don't necessarily think they're bad it's just it doesn't quite look like it does on the um the photo that is online so that's probably the reason for the negativity um yeah you can still get these on coach outlet though so isn't that cute all right. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. I'm going to bring more bags to you. I've got a lot to talk about and uh, a lot of bags to show. I uh, try to bring some rehab videos to the channel too. Some more rehab videos. I got another one coming that I'm kind of, I think might be of interest to a lot of people. So subscribe so you catch that. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.